and Priscilla and Aquila, Aquila having shown his head in uh, was that in Syria, for he had a vow. All right, for he had a vow. What was that vow? The vow of the Nazarene, because the Apostle Paul took a vow of vow of the Nazarene. But when he got ready for the Passover, he broke the vow. Now, in Samson's case, it was a special case because the Mosai said from a child, he shall be a, Na a Nazarene from the day of his birth to the day of his death. So guess what? He couldn't drink no wine. If he had went to the Passover, he couldn't drink no wine. He couldn't eat no grapes or raisins. Because I'm going to go to the actual vow. It says, uh, Numbers... Uh, 6 and 1 it says and, and the Lord spake unto Moses saying um, second verse speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them when either man or woman shall separate themselves to vow a vow of a Nazarite now you notice it's a man or woman right to separate themselves unto the Lord third verse he shall separate himself from wine and strong drink was you sipping on that brown juice? Was you sipping on some of that Elize? Huh? <laughs> Was you sipping on any wine, beer, or anything like that? It says, third verse, he shall separate himself from wine and strong drink and shall drink no vinegar or wine or vinegar of strong drink. Neither shall he drink any liquor or grapes, nor eat moist grapes or dry. That's raisins, man. It says, all the days of his separation shall he eat nothing that is made of the vine tree. From the con or kernels even to the husk. All the days of the vow of his separation. Because like I said, the vow of his, days of the vow of his separation, Paul had a vow. He might have kept it for a month, two months. But then he broke it. That's why he said, I must need make this feast. So you don't understand the scripture. You're faking it, man. Fifth verse again, all the days of the vow of his separation, there shall no razor come upon his head until the days be, be fulfilled. In, in, in Samson, Samson's case, the vow was unto death. That's why when the, when the, when the, the woman uh, shaved his head off after he told her what, you know, what that was all about, where his power from, he broke the vow and the Mosai took his power. In which he separated himself unto the Lord, he shall be holy and shall let the locks of his hair of his head grow. All the days that he separated himself unto the Lord, he shall come at no dead body. Uh, seven, he shall not make himself unclean for his father. Or for his mother. That means that when you're under that vow, if your parents died, you can't go to the funeral. So you understand the seriousness of this man? Yeah, the solemn. You're going you're gonna to pass it off. Oh, I took the vow to Nazarene. Nigga, you're an idiot, man. You're a <laughs> motherfucking idiot, man. You ain't special, my man. You ain't special. And everybody's getting on your ass. Everybody's getting on your ass. And like, 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 uh, um, uh, 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 Yashua, but he nice, he'll talk and all that. We ain't like that, man. You want to talk to me on the phone? First of all, you there's levels to this thing, brother. Right. You don't get to. It's going to be a while before you get to my level. <laughs> you you got to go. You got to go through them under channels, the man. Proper channels. You got to go through the proper channels, man. That's right. You think I can just call nine nine one one and say, look, I want to talk to uh, Barack Obama? <laughs> You got to be out your damn mind, your man. Cotton picking mind. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read that seven again. He shall not make himself unclean for his father or for his mother, for his brother or for his sister when they die. Because the, the consecration of, of his power is upon his head. Mm. Serious Did you read this before you made that statement that you oh, made? No. Obviously not. All the days of his separation. He is holy unto the Lord, Yahweh. 
And if any man die very suddenly by him, and he have defiled the head of his consecration, then he shall shave his head in the in the day of his cleansing. On the Sabbath day shall he shave it. So when Paul shaved his head, it had to be on the Sabbath day. Not Friday sundown or Saturday sundown, all right? Ten. And on the eighth day he shall bring two turtle doves. And you I don't, you don't even know what a turtle dove is. What's what's a turtle dove? You don't know. And two young pigeons to the priest to the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the priest shall offer the one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering and make an atonement for him. And that he sin he sinned by the dead and shall um hollow his head that same day. But I mean that's that's you know, that's the gist of it, you know. Oh, I got a precept, yeah. Pretty pretty much is the whole the whole chapter. Okay, I'm gonna go go to uh seventeen. All right, I'm gonna go to seventeen. It said, and he shall offer the ram. I'm gonna go to eighteen. 18. And the, and the Nazarite shall shave the head of his separation at the door, which Paul did, because he kept a, a vow. The vow was, it didn't tell you it was a vow of Nazarene, but we know because we understand what that vow was. Because he had to get ready for the Passover, because he had to drink that wine. All right? Uh, 18 again. And the Nazarite shall shave the head of, head, head of his separation at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And shall take the hair of his head of his separation and put it in the fire which is under the sacrifice of the peace offering. Is there more to that? I'm going to jump down to verse 20. Like I said, you can read the whole thing. It says, And the priest shall wave them for a wave offering before the Lord. This, this is holy for the priest with the wave beast abreast and the heave shoulder. And after that, the Nazarite may drink wine. Mm. So, did you keep the Passover from 2008 to 2000, uh, whatever, 14 or whatever, 13? Did you keep any of the Passovers? Because if you did, you better, I, I hope you shaved your head, man, and did all these things that the scriptures say. You were drinking wine when you were under the vow of the Nazarene, man? Who are you kidding, man? <laughs> That's, hey, look, man, like, like, like Ricard said, Apostle Ricard said, you out the circle and the Most High going to destroy you. That, it's it. You, you've done, man. You've yeah. done. You had his 15 minutes of shame. You had your 15 minutes of shame, man. It's all over, man. It's over. Now, now you're how about show me how Shai going to bring the judgment to you, man. I got a precept. Um, this is the book of Ecclesiastes 5 and 4. Oh, is that what you have? Oh, okay. Well, then I'll let you. It's spiritual. You feel it. Ecclesiastes 5 and 4. When thou vowest a vow unto the Most High, defer not to pay it, for he hath no pleasure in fools. Pay that which. <laughs> Ecclesiastes 5 and 4 When thou vowest a vow unto the Most High